Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum everyone. I am Razi and in this video I am going to explain how to use Camtasia software for editing your videos so that you can upload them on any social media or any video sharing website. I will be very to the point in this video so that an average user can easily use the software and quickly learn how to make his first video. The Camtasia software is in fact a screen recorder but you can do a number of things with it as well. So getting right to the point if you'll open Camtasia software and select new project this is the screen you are going to see. Over here there is a record button that will be used to start recording of the screen. Beneath this record button there are a number of options that are used to add certain effects to your videos later on. I'll use some of them in this video as well. This black area it represents the screen or the canvas. Whatever is shown over here will be present in your final video. Over here at the bottom there are tracks. Each content which is added in the video will be represented by these tracks. I'll show them how to manage these tracks and how to use these tracks so that you can easily edit your videos. So I'm going to start with this thing and to record our first video you'll need to click on this record button. As soon as you will click on the record button the Camtasia's main window will be minimized automatically and you will see this window. Now this window contains certain options. You'll need to select certain options before you can start recording. In this area, there is an option for recording the full screen. That is, if you select this option, full screen of your computer will be recorded. Whereas if you want to record just a portion of your computer screen, you can click on this option. Now only this highlighted area will be recorded. You can move this highlighted area anywhere or you can resize this highlighted area as well like this. So for this video, I'm going to record full screen. So I'm selecting this option. On this side, there are two options, one for camera and the other one for audio. So if you want to record your video as well, you can turn on the camera by clicking on this option. And if you click on this option once again, it will turn off the camera. So I'm going to turn on the camera just to show how you can handle this camera recording in your video editing. If you hover your mouse over this preview area, it will show you a bit large view of what your camera is recording right now. The second option is for audio. If you want to record the audio, you can click on it to turn it on or click on it to turn it off. So I'm going to definitely I'm going to record my audio as well. So I've turned it on and over here you can select the audio input level that will control the overall volume of the recording. So that's it for this window. Now you can click on this record button and after three seconds it will start recording. So let me click on it. Now Camtasia has started recording. Now whatever you are doing on this screen and whatever you are speaking and whatever is in front of the camera, it is being recorded. So you can deliver your lecture, you can do whatever on this screen, you can toggle between other windows as well, for example, towards this Microsoft whiteboard and whatever you will do over here, it will be recorded. So once you are done, you can either press F10 or you can bring up this window and press stop over here. Once you press stop, the recording will stop and you can go back to your Camtasia window and you will see one recording present in the media bin. So this is the recording which we have just recorded. The first video is automatically loaded in this track area as well. And in this track area, track one by default represents the video stream whereas track 2 represents the audio stream. So over here you can see that this is the recorded window and in this lower right corner you can see the recorded video as well. You can click once outside this recorded window to deselect everything and then click on this video and you can place it anywhere on your screen. You can resize it as well like this. So I'm going to use this size and I'm going to place it in the upper right corner like this. Now to edit this video, 
the major thing is to delete unwanted area for example unwanted areas may represent somewhere you made a mistake while recording or there might be some other hindrance or there might be some other kind of error so how you can do it you can drag the seek bar by clicking on this central portion of the seek bar to the area where you want to delete the clip for example i want to delete the clip from this position and you can select it either by clicking on this red button or this green button by clicking on the green button you can start moving backwards or by clicking on the red button you can start moving forward so for example I want to delete this portion now I've selected it right click on this blue area and select delete ripple whenever you delete something one video will be converted into two portions it will automatically stitch those two portions as well for example if you simply click on delete like this the selected area is deleted and the original video has been divided into two different portions but if you don't want this thing you can always press ctrl z or you can press this undo button over here to come back and then right click on this selected area and click delete ripple now look over here that what has been done the video clip has been deleted and the two video clips that resulted have been automatically stitched at this point using this zooming timeline option you can zoom in or zoom out to expand this timeline so that you can easily select the area which you want and using this bar you can navigate through this video clip you can always use these controls to see what have you edited so you can place the seek bar over here and press play button to see what you have recorded and what this clipping has done now the next thing is how you can add different effects or, or different objects to your video for example you can come over here in the portion of annotations there are certain shapes present over here you can also select many other styles from this drop down menu and you can insert these text boxes quite easily in your video for example if you want to emphasize or say something or you want to add a caption in your video you can drag this text box place it somewhere for example over here and then you can adjust its position as well for example i want to place it over here and i want to adjust its position like this and then i want to add a certain text over here for example i'm adding sample text over here in the timeline you can see that a third track has been added and this is the length of the time for which this call out will appear in your video so if i drag the seek bar over here play the video you will see that over here it appears and when its timeline ends it will disappear you can always drag this box from here to increase the time for which this call out appears in your video stream so there are many other options that you can add under this annotation tab for example you can add arrows you can add shapes onto your video or you can add certain highlighting and blur effect for example if you want to blur something in your video you can drag this tool over here a box will appear and you can place it somewhere so that that thing will appear blurred for the time for which this object has been added for example if i want to increase the time of the blur i can drag this rectangle from this side and increase its time and let's suppose i want to blur my video for this time i can place the blur window over here and adjust its size like this additionally you should note that when one element is happening that is it is running and if you want to add another element it will be added in the next track but if you add this element after the first element has ended then it will appear in the same track for example over here now let's see what is happening this call out window will disappear and the blur window will appear and it will appear for the time this rectangle is present in this track additionally you can use for example this highlight tool you can highlight a certain area in your video and for all the annotations and all the things which you are adding over here from this annotation portion there are certain options associated with them these options can be used to adjust their properties for example with this highlight window there is one option associated that is its intensity you can increase or decrease the spotlights intensity by dragging this point over here you can also use the highlight tool 
like this you can place this highlight tool somewhere over here you, you can increase its time length for which it will appear over here and there are many other options for you to explore now coming towards the next option that is of transition these effects are used to transition from one video clip to another video clip for example somewhere over here we know that our video transitions from the powerpoint window to whiteboard window so why not add a certain transition over here but to add a certain transition one thing should be noted that transitions can only be added at the start or end of the clips but there is no start or end of the clip over here so we need to split the video over here so that there are two different clips one is ending over here and the other one will be starting over here so to split the video clip just click on this clip and press s or this split button now you can see that our video clip has been split in two smaller video clips one is over here and the other one is over here now we can add this transition effect by just dragging and dropping it over here you can see that how highlighted areas are representing the places where you can place these transitions. So I'm going to place this transition over here and now let's see what is happening. So there are many other options in this left menu that you can explore. The last option which I'm going to explain is of this cursor effect. You can add certain cursor effects to the cursor which is present on your video. For example, you can highlight the cursor by just dragging this option and placing it onto the video clip for which you want to highlight the cursor. Now remember that we have two clips. One is over here and the other one is over here. So we have added the highlighted cursor effect in this video only. So so in this clip the cursor will be highlighted whereas in the next clip the cursor will not be highlighted so drag the seek bar onto this cursor and see that how the cursor is highlighted there are certain right click and left click effects also available for example to add a left click effect come over here and select any effect that you want to add you can add click sound so that whenever there is a left click there is a sound of clicking you can also add a ripple or some other shape that whenever there is a left click that shape will appear so i'm going to add this target like effect onto the left click so i'm just going to drag and drop it onto this video clip so whenever now there is a left click this green target like circles are going to appear so have you noticed that when there was a left click this green circle like effect was appearing it is just to emphasize on the left click or the right click as I've explained in the annotation portion, you can always access the properties of the effects or the things you are adding onto this video through this right hand panel. For example, if you want to change the highlighting effect of the cursor, which we have added, you can use these options like you can increase its size or you can increase or decrease the opacity of it. And you can also change the color of the highlighting of this cursor. And for left click effect, you can use these options. You can change the color once again. For example, I've changed it to pink. You can increase the size of these rings. You can increase the number of the rings like this. So once you have edited your video, the last thing is to save this video. You can come over here, click on the share button. It will give you certain options. That is, you can directly upload your video to YouTube or you can save it to Google Drive. But over here, I am going to save this video in my local hard disk. So I am going to click on local file. It's going to ask me for different preset formats that I may use. But I am going to go with custom production settings and click next. In the next window, it is going to ask me about the video format. I am going to go with the recommended one that is the MP4. And then in the next window, it is going to ask me for different options. Specifically, if I come to this video settings, I can increase or decrease the quality of the video so that the size of the video is decreased or increased. I'll recommend meant to go with the default options but however if you have selected whatever options you want click on the next button over here you can add watermark by selecting this option and you can provide the watermark which you want to add and then in the last step it will ask you for the name and the location where you want to save this video so just add some name over here for example this is my sample video 
and click finish and it will start preparing your video. So this was everything for this video and I hope that now an average user can easily use this software to edit his videos and make them more attractive and more appealing for the audience. If you like this video, kindly hit the like button and subscribe to our channel where we will be constantly uploading videos not just like these but on various technical and non-technical topics.